And business. Let's go. Welcome back to Call Fishing, everyone. In today's episode, I'll be chasing coho in Marine Area 11. It's mid September and about the best time for coho fishing here in the South Sound. I'm launching out of Redonner today. As you can see, the parking lot here is packed already early in the morning. I found that getting here at around 8 a.m. is actually better since that's when the early folks are starting to uh, limit out and starting to leave. It's a less optimal fishing time, but not a bad trade off this year when the fishing has been fantastic so far. Rodano has a pretty good parking lot size, but it still does get pretty packed during the height of the fishing season. It is a pay lot. The cost for an all day boat and trailer is $10 this year in 2023. They do have a rate for vehicle only that varies by hours, but you can also find free street parking around the area. So I recently purchased a trailer to tow my kayak around since I was getting tired of car topping the kayak. The Hobie PA14 is pretty heavy and yeah, after a while it's a uh, pain in the butt to uh, car top it on the SUV. The trailer definitely makes it a lot easier to launch and retrieve the kayak, but you do lose some of the advantage of car topping, namely not needing a big parking space uh, big enough to accommodate both the cars and trailer. And you also have to pay for a uh, uh, trailer parking now instead of just a uh, vehicle parking. I'll make another video with more details on the pros and cons of trailering kayak in the future for those interested. The process of getting the kayaks from the trailer to the water ready to fish is about 15 minutes now. So not a lot shorter than car topping, but it's a lot easier on body and back. So as you guys can see, it's a fantastic condition to be out in the water today. Very light wind and the water is almost glass. Great conditions for mid-September to be out in the sound. For today, I'm running a simple diver setup with your standard flasher and squid combo for coho, sticking with the try and true, and of course, a piece of hair and tip on the hook. If you're interested in the setup, let me know in the comments below and I can make uh, more in-depth videos about them. A reminder to apply sunscreen when you're out on the water, especially on a sunny day like today. It doesn't have to be hot for you to get sunburned. What I like the most about launching here in Redondo is that the fishing ground is pretty much right outside. No need to pedal too far to get out to the fish. That. Yeah, I know, right? Wow. Alright, guys, a tip that helped oh, me this year is to check your line often, especially around this area. I'm also using Another a diver, shaker. so it's extra hard to notice when a shaker hops on for a ride. You don't want to be dragging him along for miles. Not good for their survivability, and it's also not great for your fishing. Checking your line often is also a good chance to make sure everything's working correctly. I just got out here. How about yourself? Any luck? Nice, man. Any luck? No. Nothing yet? Seen them caught though, so that's good. <laughs> I'm seeing them getting caught though. <laughs> Keeping tension is one of the challenges of this diver setup, especially since I'm only using an 8 foot rod. It's not long enough to keep the line tight and reeled in. I'll have to try it with a longer rod next time and see if it's better. Woo! Let's go! Woo! Woo! First coho, baby! Let's go! Well, that is the first one. No skunk today. Woo! Uh oh. Okay. Alright. Hook off. 
a trailing hook. Oh, that's a nice coho. All right. Whew. Put the string there. Oh, jeez. Ooh. Ooh. Remember to mark your cash car after every cash. Not worth any trouble in case anything comes up. Let's go! Woo. Let's go! Ah. Right. Mission accomplished! Gotta do it right there. Huh? Gotta do it. Yeah, man. How are you doing over there? Got one nice one. Heck yeah, man. They're all right here. I went yeah. down there and there's nothing. This right here. Yep, that's where I got mine. Right up in here. Yep, yep. This is it, man. Alright. Got a nice pink right here. Pretty nice, I'll keep them. Okay. okay. All right, here I was double checking to see if it was a coho instead. I saw some spot on his tail, so I thought it was a pink originally, but when I checked the mouth, it wasn't a uh, pink's mouth. Make sure you guys can identify the salmon before taking it out of the water. I know this is either a pink or coho here, which is both keepable at this spot, so that's why I'm taking it out of the water to check it. Definitely don't gill hole it like this, you may have to release it. Oh, it is a silver. Hatchery silver. Yeah, the fin is clipped, so it's definitely a silver. Pinks, there's no wild pinks. Alright, that's number two. Beautiful day to be out in the water. Got in a good workout maintaining that coho trolling speed and got a big bonus of limiting it out on two cohos. Salmon season has been fantastic this year in the sound. What a blessing to live in the Pacific Northwest and again to enjoy these opportunities just right outside. Hey, did you drop this? Hey, uh, did you drop this? Is this yours? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is yours? Thank you. Okay. Did you catch any fish? Oh, uh, yes, man. Got, got my two. One more highlight of the Redondo launch is that it has a water station to rinse off your gears. So when you're done, you can spray it down right away and not have to do it at home. Great time out catching these cohos. Love the pictures. They cut up very nice. Although my knife skill could definitely use some work. One quick recipe I learned this year for a coho is to put some Montreal steak seasoning on them with mayonnaise on top. Put that in the air fryer at 400 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes and you got yourself a nice delicious meal. Give that a shot if you guys are looking for a nice, quick, uh, simple recipe. Alright guys, that's all for this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching and until next time.